Hey y'all, welcome to a typical Thirsty Thursday on Uncle Bubba's Bell Buckle Bear Views. I call it a typical Thirsty Thursday because I got a brew today that's just a typical brew. You can find it in any convenience store wherever you go pretty much in America. Um, this is a brew that I'm familiar with. When I was a kid, it had kind of a stigma to it. And I, I think I tried one, you know, when I was in my teen years. And, you know, it was just, I don't know. I, you know, my taste have changed a lot since then, but uh, I, always, I always thought of it, and it may have been uh, called this back then, a malt liquor. And it, it doesn't say that on here now. It doesn't call it a, a malt liquor. But my understanding is that anything that's above a 5% ABV is a malt liquor. And I learned that from my buddy Ronald uh, J. Terrio down there in Louisiana from Louisiana Beer Reviews. Um... So anyway, this this just kind of always had a stigma to it, <clears throat> and I never did. Uh, I can't remember if I ever tried it back in my teen years or not. I don't know, because it just kind of had a, you know, one of those things where yeah, you just don't drink that, you know. And we drank, you know, back in those years, you drank what you get your hands on pretty much, <laughs> pretty much, you know. Uh, anyway, today's brew. Is a Colt 45. Colt 45. Um, it says rich smoothness for every occasion. Colt 45 original always remains true. The classic American lager since 1963. Every time. It's a 5.6% alcohol by volume. This is a 24 ounce can. Um, and it is brewed in Milwaukee, Wisconsin by the J. Heileman Brewing Company. Um, union made, 1.8 fluid ounces, 24 ounces, Colt 45. Alright, so I haven't had this brew, I don't think ever. I, I may have had some, I can't remember y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm almost 56 years old. <laughs> my teen years are way way behind me and I just can't remember if I've ever had this or not but it just kind of always had a stigma where you know that's just not something to drink or whatever but anyway I've seen a lot of my brothers on the alcohol legs a Facebook group that, that have uh, had this and enjoyed it and everything so I decided I saw it in a convenience store I said man I've never tried it I've seen some of my brothers do it I'm gonna try it so we're gonna have it today on a typical thirsty Thursday Big old 24 ounce can, 5.6% ABV. Let's see what this stuff looks like. <clears throat> All right. We've got a nice head on it there. Oh man, look how bright that is. <laughs> look at that. You can see them bubbles floating up through there. Pretty bright, bright beer. Nice head. Nice pretty brew. Let's see. I don't get <clears throat> I don't get any kind of aroma off of it. But it is beautiful. Beautiful gold color. See-through. Not a bit of haze in it all, man, but it's got bubbles just going crazy up in there, man. I don't know if y'all can see them. They're little bitty tiny bubbles and they're just floating up through there like crazy. I hope y'all can see that. Beautiful. All right. Colt 45. Gonna try this for the first time that I can remember. <laughs> all right. So this Colt 45 at a 5.6% ABV is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the work that you do day in and day out to provide for yourselves, your families, pay your own way, and supporting our economy. I know what it's like, y'all. I work 12-hour days myself. Um, work hard to support myself. I'm, only, I'm, I'm the only breadwinner in my house, so I, I work hard to provide for my family and uh, pay my own way. And I just want y'all to know that I appreciate what y'all do. And, and your work is not important as far as what you do your work is important because I mean it's how you you know pay your own way but everybody's essential 
you know, regardless of what kind of job you have, everybody's job is important in some way to somebody. So, American Worker, this Colt 45 is for you. Cheers. Oh, man. Well, I got to tell y'all, <clears throat> I've been missing out. <laughs> I've been missing out all these years, man. This is good. All right, so a few months back, well, a couple months back, I guess. I don't know, whatever. I did a, I did a, a, a taste challenge between Budweiser, which is my go-to beer, and a Coors banquet beer. And I found out that I really prefer Coors over Budweiser. So, it, you know, I've been buying Coors. I've been buying Coors as my go-to here lately because it's just a good beer. It's just It's got the same ABV as a Bud, and it, it, the flavor is just a little bit better than a Budweiser. Now, I still drink Bud. I've, I've got a 12-pack a of Bud in, in my fridge right now. But I've also got about 18, 18 Coors in my fridge. Because I mean they're 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 remarkably sounder, but the Coors just has just a little more flavor to it. Now this stuff right here, man, this is good brew for a 5.6 percent alcohol by volume. This stuff is 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 very similar to a, a Coors or a Budweiser. Very good. just as smooth as it can be it's crisp just has a, a delicious smooth even flavor um i'm sorry i've missed out on this all these years man this is good brew and a good old 24 ounce can now, i don't know <clears throat> i don't remember what i give for this um it was you know a 24 ounce can you know you can go in a convenience store and just buy these in singles like because they don't have them in like you know six packs or not like that but uh i got one just to try it because i never have and and i'm glad i did this is really good really good this gets a double thumbs up from old uncle bub oh. <clears throat> lots of carbonation lots of flavor crisp clean easy to drink man this is this is one if it wants a dad gum <laughs> it's a dad gum cold outside this would be perfect for like after mowing the yard or, or you know any kind of outside work where you're hot and sweaty you want something to quench your thirst easy to drink man this stuff right here would hit the spot i'm telling you this is good stuff <sighs> mm. man i'm sorry i hadn't tried it earlier <laughs> All right, y'all, so that's been a typical Thirsty Thursday this week. Learn something. And I just enjoy trying beer. I do enjoy trying different things. And, and you know, I, since I started this, I've been doing this for about three years now, a little over three years. And I've been trying, you know, <clears throat> German beers and, and, and beers from different places in the world where I can find them. I go down at the World Market in Murfreesboro, and they got beers from all over the world down there. And you can buy them by the singles. And, you know, since I've been doing this, I've been trying just different beers that I can, you know, when I can locate them, like try different stuff. And just been kind of ignoring the stuff that's available to me, you know, every day. So on Thursdays, sometimes I'll, I'll do a, a beer that's widely available. And, and this week happened to be a Colt 45, and I'm glad I tried it. It's good stuff. All right, y'all. So I'll be back tomorrow for a Friday's R for you. Uh, y'all stay tuned. Take care. Love and appreciate y'all. Cheers.